Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, question 2, 2014. Let Z1 equal 1 minus 2i, where i squared is equal to minus 1. Part A. So that sits outside the whole question, guys. So that applies to every part of this question, A, B, C, D, whatever amount there is. Part A. The complex number Z1 is a root of the equation 2Z squared minus 7Z squared plus 16Z minus 15 equals 0. Find the other two roots. OK. So the first thing I'm noting is that all the coefficients are real. OK, there's no complex coefficients in any of them. So A, B, C and D are real. Therefore, the conjugate root theorem applies. OK, so therefore, I can say if Z1, if Z1 is equal to 1 minus 2i, then Z2 is equal to 1 plus 2i. OK, so that's one of them found straight away. OK, so then I need to find the third one. So somehow I need to form the quadratic that these will be and then either long divide it into this or start equating coefficients. OK, so there's a couple of ways of, of forming your quadratic. Um, you can bring these over okay, and write them in terms of z. So z minus 1 plus 2i. Um, so in other words, I'm forming the factors. These are the roots and I'm, I'm writing them as the factors. This is z minus 1 minus 2i. Okay, and then when I multiply these together, I will get my quadratic. So let's try that. Easy to make a mistake here now. z by z, z squared, z by minus 1, minus 1z, z by minus 2i, minus 2zi, then minus 1 by everything in the second bracket. So minus 1z, Minus by minus is a plus 1. Minus by minus is a plus 2i. Then 2i by z is 2zi. 2i by minus 1 is minus 2i. Plus by minus is a minus 2 twos or 4i squared. And the i squared is minus 1. So now I'm hoping some stuff cancels. Minus 2zi plus 2zi cancels. plus 2i minus 2i cancels. Okay, so I have z squared minus 2z. That's this one here and this one here. And then I have minus 4 by minus 1 is plus 4, plus 1 is plus 5. So that is my uh, quadratic okay or of course you can do some of the roots product of the roots so remember any quadratic is x squared minus the sum of roots times z plus the product of the roots okay so the sum of the roots is 1 minus 2i plus 1 plus 2i and you can see the i's cancel. So you just got two. The product is one minus two i by one plus two i. So it's equal to one by one is one uh, plus two i minus two i plus by minus is a minus four i squared. These cancel, sub in my minus one here and there's my five. Okay, so subbing into here then I can form my quadratic as z squared minus the sum of the roots plus the product of the roots. So however you get to your quadratic doesn't matter at all. You just need to get to your quadratic. OK, and then one way of doing it is to long divide it in. So I have 2z squared cubed, sorry, minus 7z squared plus 16z minus 15. And I am long dividing that into what was it? Z squared minus 2z plus 5. OK, so multiply it by 2z. 
So 2z cubed minus 4z squared plus 10z. Change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. Cancel. So minus 7 plus 4 is 3z squared plus 6z minus 15. Okay, so change him then to minus 3. So minus 3 by z squared is minus 3z squared. Minus by minus is a plus, 3 twos are 6z. Minus by plus is a minus, 5 threes are 15. Change the sign, change the sign, change the sign, and all cancels. Okay, so 2z minus 3 is my third factor. Now let's write it as a root. 2z is equal to 3. Z is equal to 3 over 2. Okay, so the roots of this equation are Z1, which was equal to 1 minus 2i. Z2, which was equal to 1 plus 2i. Z3, which was equal to 3 over 2. Okay, you could, of course, equate the coefficients. So in other words, you could take your quadratic and multiply it by X plus YI, for example. Um, or anything you want, A plus BI, it doesn't matter what letters you call them, and then equate coefficients, okay? Perfectly fine way of doing it as well. Okay, part B. Let W equal to Z1 by Z1 conjugate, where Z1 hat is the conjugate of Z1, plots Z1, Z1 conjugate, and W on the Argand diagram, and label each point. Okay, so W is equal to Z1 by Z1 conjugate. Okay, so Z, excuse me, Z1 was 1 minus 2i. So the conjugate of that means change the sign of only the imaginary part. And when I multiply these, I should, of course, get um, a real number. Okay. We did a bit of this when we multiplied the roots together. So minus 4i squared. These cancel, sub in your minus 1. So that was 5. Okay, and it wants us to plot them on the Argand diagram. So this is w, which is 5. It's a real number, okay? So there's my w. Uh, plot z1, 1 minus 2i. So that's z1. 1 plus 2i is up here, z1 hat. So plot them and label each point. Okay, they look good. That's fine. Part 2, find the measure of the acute angle z1, so z hat to w to z1, formed by joining on the above diagram. Okay, let's join them. Give your answer correct. So I have to find an angle. I have to find the angle at W. Okay, so I need to find this angle that I call theta. Okay. So a couple of ways I could do this. I could find out the 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 the, the length of this side. Okay. Um the length of this side. And I could use the cosine rule, really, because the length of this side is just 4. I can read that off from 2 to minus 2. I could also use right angle trig, couldn't I? So in other words, let me just get a different color. I could form a right angle here. Find, which will literally be theta over 2. It'll be half of theta. Find it and multiply it by 2 to give me the full angle. And I think that's the easiest way to go. 1, 2, 3, 4. The length of that bottom side of the triangle is 4. Um, one, two, three, four, yeah, and the length of this one is two. Okay, so I could do it that way, I think. Okay, so I'm using tan because I don't have the hypotenuse. Tan is equal to opposite over adjacent, so he looks good. So tan of that angle, I'll call him alpha because he's not quite my whole angle is equal to opposite, which is 2 
over four. So alpha is equal to the tan inverse of two over four. And it's in degrees. Let me change my calculator back to degrees. So the tan inverse, two over four or a half. I am getting a 26 point something, 26.565 degrees. Okay, so therefore that angle that I wanted is 26.565 by two. Let me multiply that by two on my calculator and I get 53.13 degrees. Give your answer correct to the nearest degree. Theta is equal to 53 degrees. Okay, so that was the angle there. It's a little bit of trick at the end. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.